Okay, so here we have a performance chart and we're going to talk about the uncontrollable factors and the controllable factors and how you can identify that to help you with your performance. So over here we have a on this, this um, axis here we have performance and on this axis here we have time. And then over here we're going to list a different, different variables that can affect your performance. So if we move it to the next slide, I've listed a couple of things here. I've got the wind, sun, string tension, diet, opponent, let cord, sleep, practice, injuries. Basically, these are all just mixed up variables. And if you let all, each one of these things bother you, your performance is gonna fluctuate with very, very high highs and very low lows. So you're gonna have inconsistent performance throughout time. So the key is to be able to identify what the controllable factors are, things you can control, and the uncontrollable factors are things you cannot control. So what we're going to do is, I want you to pause this video at this point and take out your notebook and I want you to make a list on one side of the paper of all the variables you can control and then the other side all the material, the, the variables that you cannot control. Now to give an example, um, a, a controllable would be something like string tension. Right, making sure your racket is strung correctly, you, know, you make sure you, you take it to the stringer, you know, it hasn't been sitting in your bag for a couple of months, you take it there and you get it strung, uh, it's freshly strung with the right tension. That, that's something you can control. An uncontrollable factor could be something like the outside elements like the wind. So I want you to pause this video right now and then just make a list of those controllable factors and those uncontrollable factors. Okay, so now that you have your list, I'm just going to give you some examples of what I've come up with. So down below you have the uncontrollable factors and I've listed them. So I have the wind, the sun, my opponent, let cords, injuries, sometimes you, you cannot avoid them, you may st step on a ball, um, you, know, you may pull a muscle and, and that's out of your control. The fans, maybe they're clapping for double faults, they're just being loud, bad line calls from your opponent. The balls you're playing with, you know, maybe you're playing a tournament and they're playing with a certain kind of ball that you don't like. Uh, bad bounces, they happen. And the surface. So maybe it's just the, the court is, um, has high lines or it has cracks. Or maybe it, it rained, you're playing outdoor on clay, it rained and you had to go indoor on a fast hard court. Those are things you just cannot change, right? Now over here on the top, I've listed things you can be in control of. And equipment is one of them. Now, Obviously, if you find somewhere and they lose your bag, well, that's, that's something you, that will be out of your control. But generally, your equipment, so you, know, you have um, your bag with everything you need in it. It could be snacks, enough water, um, you know, extra change of clothing, those kind of things. You have the right shoes. So you know, if you're going to be playing on a clay court, you don't want to be using old shoes that are going to cause you to slide around. You want to make sure you have, at least have new shoes or clay court, uh, um, special clay court shoes, shall I say. You want to make sure you arrive on time for the, for the match so that you have ample time to warm up and stretch correctly. Uh, you want to make sure that um, you get to bed on time, you get enough rest. That's something you can control. Your practice leading up to the event, you know, make sure that you put, you're putting in the right practice and not just showing up there, you know, having not hit balls for a week. So um, that's something that, that, you, that is within your control. The string tension, having your equipment ready, and then also your diet, how you, how you fuel yourself the night before and the morning of a match. You know, do you take snacks on the court with you? But these things, generally, you can control these factors, whereas these ones here are totally out of your control. Nothing you say, nothing you do, nothing you think is gonna change that. So what you wanna do is you wanna draw a line right here, and when these things creep in, you want to identify them as uncontrollable and then just move on to the next thing, right? Because it's not going to change it, you're going to cause stress for no reason. Then these things here, you want, to, you want to control those things, so now your performance as a result is only going to fluctuate in this band here, so you're going to be a lot more of a consistent performer. And in the middle here we have mental toughness. And ideally, we want to be in control of that so our, our performance can only dip to this, this top line. But as you work through this, we may not have total control of our mental toughness, so it may actually dip to this bottom line. All right, so this is kind of a gray area here. But you can see here, this clearly demonstrates the importance of being able to identify if something's 
controllable factor or uncontrollable factor and then if it is controllable then you want to be able to change that if it's uncontrollable you you've got to move on because you know there's nothing you can do to change that and in doing so you're going to have a more more consistent performance over time